Check it out. This is the world's fastest turbo snowboard course. The local champions are the Sasquatch Six, a gang of yetis on souped up snow discs. I bet that you could outrace the lot of them. If you win, we get a huge pile of treasure. If you lose, I have to slick down the whole course with my tongue. So, ready to race? I almost want to lose on purpose. Right on! Just don't lose, or my tongue's gonna be a popsicle. But let's try to win. Yetis are actually pretty fast, though. The first few are easy to get past, but you really gotta pull, perform tricks and ah, uh, not do stuff like that if you want to win this race. By the way, I'm just gonna say it right now. You know how I mentioned that Hunter's insults are amazing? That that one that he um said back at Lost Fleet was okay, but just wait till you hear what he says when you win this time. I'm just saying that now so I don't have to like quickly say it uh, when I win. Or I'm about to win. It's probably one of the most hilarious things I've ever heard in a video game. So yeah, I'm not doing good. I'm not doing good. Fifth place and still lap two. Lap three? Oh yeah, I'm gonna lose. You know what? I'm gonna just quit. There's no way I can win this. Check it out. This is Ah. He doesn't do his uh frozen tongue dialogue, I guess, if he just quit. Oh well. Yeah, this is actually a really hard race. This is the hardest race in the entire game. I've got to stop falling off. It's not working out very well for me. at fourth. It's looking like I'm probably not going to win still, though. one's really far ahead. I don't know, if I can hit him with a rocket from some distance, I might be able to. No, there's no way. We've lost.
I think my tongue is frozen. You better not lose again. Okay, I'll try not to. <laughs> crash there. What the heck? Was I like in third or fourth place there for a second? That was weird. Oh, did they get easier? They might have. Oh, well. I don't really care. Man, that was going so good, too. Nice. Okay, doing good this time. Doing very good. Not screw this up now. Oh, great, I screwed it up. Ah, oh, man, I knew that was going to happen eventually. Sometimes I smack into that. <laughs> Just did that again. Whatever, I'll take it. I think my crashed into me. That's pretty rare. to grab that rocket there. Oh well, I won't need it, maybe.
enemies are, but... Oh. Hi. Blue Shell. Like a bunch of frost-bitten, flat-footed, molasses-eating, lead-pants-wearing, cross-eyed glacier trolls riding slabs of plywood with sandpaper on the bottom! And we won some shiny stuff, too. <laughs> frost-bitten, flat-footed, molasses-eating, lead-pants-wearing, cross-eyed glacier trolls. <laughs> Unforgettable. <laughs> Oh, that Yeti race always gives me some trouble. But anyway, now that we've got that done and out of the way, um, some treasure we have to find here still, I think. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Ah, you know what? I hate to do this, but... No other way of really getting back up. Okay, where's the, there's the skateboard. Oh, there's some treasure right there. Oh, going to Sparks, that's everything. Alright then. Now that's the one where the subs were. Um, I think we need to go into the tower now. Yeah, that'll take us to the Superfly power-up that'll let us fly and shoot down the saucers. Or we could go this... Oh no, that's where this leads to. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Things even home in. Final challenge. Where are the last two? There's one. Okay, last one. Where are you? Got a good view of the whole area from up here around this point. Aha! There we 
go. So now, there's only one thing left to do. Let us see what awaits us behind this door. Oh, look who's back. I don't know how she did it, Spyro, but the sorceress must have survived that last battle. She's been waiting here all this time, saving up her magic to destroy you. Your best chance to defeat her is to borrow my flying saucer. I've cast some spells on it to give it extra firepower and unlimited flying time, but the rest is going to be up to you. You've come this far, Spyro. I know you can beat her! And we will beat her! Yeah. Secret final boss! It's actually kind of similar to the Ripto, uh, the, the final Ripto form. Wow, I'm a lousy shot here. But yeah, even this fight's not really all that impressive. It's possible to kill her really, really, really quickly, though. Ah, I got hit. Don't laugh at me, will ya? We'll see who's laughing at the end of this fight. Oh, here we go. Kick butt mode initiated. Sorceress is done for good. <laughs> Yin Yang. It's two dragons. So that would technically bring our total to 151, but it's just 150. And that's the little extra ending thing you get for 117%. Well, sadly that marks the end of the Spyro Trilogy on PS1. Really had a great time LPing these. But, hey, who knows? Maybe that won't be all of the Spyro that I'll ever play on here. I mean, if I could ever get, like, a Hero's Tale or something, then i totally LP that. Because, I mean, I think it's I think it's kind of made in, like, the style of these games. I haven't seen a whole lot from it, but I think a Hero's Tale, like, has the collect-a-thon gameplay. I know, it's, I know there's some differences from the original games, but I think it's mostly similar. I know it's nothing like the Legend of Spyro games. I know it's much closer to the classics than those are. I've never played the Legend of Spyro either. I don't personally have anything against those games, though, because they actually, they look like fun games, but... 
Yeah. At least they're not Skylanders. Ugh, Skylander Spyro? No. Wait, what am I talking about? Skylander Spyro? Huh, that was weird. That was so random. I mean, I'm pretty sure that doesn't even exist. Like, where did that even come from? Oh, yeah, I think there's some game called Skylanders, but it definitely has nothing to do with Spyro, and Spyro is definitely not in it or anything. There is some weird purple monster-looking thing in it that some people might confuse for Spyro, but I don't know how they confuse it for Spyro, because honestly, they're nothing alike aside from the color. Most certainly have. Yeah. Three great games in the time span of only four years. Remember those times? Well. We are all done. I don't think there's I don't think there's any more things in the epilogue. No, that's it. Okay. Well, 
that concludes Let's Play Spyro Year of the Dragon. I really hope you all enjoyed, and see you next Let's Play.